们土著盘修是有点复杂哦，那两根线修的，一个是像皮克三分的话，三分两分是上面的圈，一分是分的，这样的修修的话有点难，有点慢。好几个针法就现在是困难，有的人就不会修了。Have you ever seen a traditional Chinese crown that looks like Takashi Murakami sunflowers? Today we are going to explore Tu minorities folk embroidery. We call it Tu Zhu Pan Xiu in Chinese. Its most classical pattern is the sunflower, which is often used in traditional Tung minority clothes. Its origin dates back 1,600 years ago. My name is Li Fangxiu. I am a Tung Pansiu traditional. My mother gave me the name of the Tung Pansiu. My mother gave me the name of the Tung Pansiu. My mother gave me the name of the Tung Pansiu. My mother gave me the name of the Tung Pansiu. 农村也生活条件比较艰苦，我的父亲去世太早，我九岁的时候就去世了。我妈妈养着五个孩子，五个孩子的话就是没有布料，没有钱。学会了以后就修吧，好了就我妈妈一看了，哎呀，这女儿也是有出息的，以后就自己的陪嫁自己，会修呗。她一高兴了，就我的心里也高兴呗。It has three unique characteristics, with the most recognizable one being the rainbow color. It represents pure joy and happiness, and frankly reminds us of the pop art movement that was prevalent in Western countries during the mid to late 1950s. The second is the special stitching. They use two needles and two threads. While one thread is thicker than the other, the thicker thread is used to make the circular shape, while the thinner one is meant to stabilize the circle. The third unique quality of this type of embroidery is the mysterious pattern originating from their rich history and culture. Such as the sunflower, the most classical symbol in Tu minority, which symbolizes good fortune and health. If you look closer at the center of the sunflower, there is a Tai Ji, which symbolizes the balance of yin and yang, a well-known Chinese philosophy reflected in every aspect of Chinese culture. Other symbols like the Chinese nut, the cloud. The head-to-toe patterns all symbolizes unity and prosperity. Um, Tu Wan Shi is this religion. We are Qing Huang Jiao. The land is all made of the Qing Tu Wan. Interestingly enough, the master of Tu Zhu folk embroidery, Li Fa Xiu, told us back then it was necessary for every girl to master this craft. And they had a custom to showcase their needlework at their wedding by Zhen Xian to prove how smart and diligent they were, and whether they had the potential to be a good wife one day. The 陪嫁修出来的话，嗯，结婚的时候就有个小展览呗哦。结婚的那天是跑家里啊，小小展厅啊，整起来啊，他们家的。几件衣服啊，几件衣服上的鞋子啊、领子啊，好看不好看？这样的全装子上的人就他们评价呗。评价的话就是，啊，他们家的娶回来的媳妇，强说，你能干。这样的话，妈妈们的脸上也有光彩的。But now this custom is disappearing. Less and less young people want to learn about it. They don't wear their traditional wedding coat anymore, and neither do they speak their own language. 年轻人越来越汉化了。他们自己的衣服不穿，自己的鞋品也不用了，啊，以后到了就土族，土族的语言也不说了，这样的话就土族太可惜了。自己一个土族，人家的就小的时候就没有汉化没有学呗啊，嗯，普通话更更没有学呗，采访来了就不会说呗，怎么说呀？不识字呗啊，这样的话就困难了。
全部全部だ。In 1985, Li Fazio attended a national show to promote their crafting skills. It was during this event she met someone that changed her life forever. A Canadian traveler, Kalo, was drawn to her stand. Kalo handed her a picture she would like embroidered, plus a hundred RMB, and left. Fazio was deeply moved by her generosity. In return, she even made an additional piece and shipped both to her. What's more, Kello came back a few years later and bought four more pieces from Fasio. Both interactions brought so much joy to Fasio. So here for the first time, Fasio would like to share a few words with Kello. Jella Kello, I just was just think, catch me, just catch me, like, ah, my gosh, he just, he likes me, he just, oh, we are just friends, like. 现在就没办法联系了。嗯，我希望就是以后我们盘修发展起来，我们的土豆玉饭、土豆烟啊，都是发展发展起来，就我们以后就是民族有希望、有活力呗。这样的话，就就特别高兴。From the ignorance of childhood to the perseverance of the present, she cultivated admiration for the craft every step of the way.